So it's definitely raining now. <laughs> Yay! Tarp is still up, but yes. yeah, it is it is wet out there. She a bit wet. We're Levi and Leah, a Canadian couple living out of our Toyota Prius to complete a road trip of a lifetime. We left our apartment in the city to spend the next year circumnavigating North America. This week we spent six hours in a blockade trying to get to the beach for Christmas. And when we got there we had to test out our tarp skills because we experienced the most rain that we have on this entire trip. And of course it happened over Christmas. Leah and I left the coast in Bucerias over three weeks ago. And today we are making our way back to the coast because that is where Leah wants to spend Christmas. If we can't be with our families, the least we can do is be on the beach. So we've been driving for a while now and like traffic just seemed to be getting worse and worse and now we're at a full standstill while we let this massive bus go by. They're on the shoulder of the road and there's like two trucks deep through there plus all these cars. there are these little green back trucks that seem to pass by here and there but they are local taxis it looks like and they're just hauling people back and forth to little towns in between other than them though there's not really anything that's going by um, and I guess we just got to follow the social protocol and not keep driving because I don't think there's really anywhere to go yeah. we have uh, problems yeah only Block the, the street. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's just people blocking the yeah, street. Yeah. Dude, oh my god, dude. That's crazy how close that comes. Good god, dude. Look at how close that is on the side of that truck. Oh my god. Only in Mexico, though, would there be a, a big hold up like this, but there's always something to eat. I mean, look at this. This guy just comes out, he's got his like cooler. Water. He's selling drinks. He's got food in there. Like, He's nobody's great. gonna starve in this lineup, that's for sure. Nope. Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to a traffic jam in the middle of Mexico. Um, so, the cars in front of us just started moving, and so we just followed them, and now we're driving and we're kind of just waiting to see what happens. Yeah, like, all these people are just like walking to. I guess get to their cars or get to the next spot or something. I don't know. Oh, there's a big curb right there. There is. We gotta go down a decent ways. I can barely get out. Okay. Yeah, come a little bit this way because you're gonna hit that curb. Okay, and then that's as close as you can get. Come and now go that way again. And keep coming. That Dude. was crazy. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> so, um, he was actually just saying, um, apparently this is like, uh, like cartel conflict related. Really? Yeah, he said that basically there's, there's, uh, some issues between certain people in the country. And that's why the road is closed. Mom, I'm so sorry if you're watching this. <laughs> It's five o'clock right now. We have been in this lineup uh, for over three hours now. I have to pee, but it's pouring rain and outside. It's just the most hideous day and, ever. And it's so muddy out there. There's like trucks honking up in the distance. I don't like that. 
What the hell are we doing, dude? So we're uh, told by one of the bikers just ripping by that apparently it's supposed to be opening, but that is not what we heard from the guy behind us who apparently said that this blockade has been in place for over 24 hours as of this morning. Yeah. So people have been here over 30 hours at this point and like it's gridlock. I don't even know if we can go back the way that we came because we Basically, it's it's completely gridlocked. We debated like, should we go back and like park at a Pemex? But we literally can't turn around. Like, there's there's yeah, it's nowhere. Just, it's literally to go. just traffic. We're so, all stuck here. now uh, 725 um, we spent holy cow we were in I think just after what was it like 1 1 30 that we got into that line and we were moving into like 6 we left this morning starting this driving day at 8 15 so our longest day and we moved the least yeah <laughs> so we're gonna sleep it off in the car hopefully and uh, in the morning get up and do it all over again. Do it again. Good night, everyone. Mwah. The next day, we had a lot of driving ahead of us through this pretty gloomy weather. And honestly, we kind of felt that way too. The vibes were just off, but we ended up finding this place called El Jaguar. We found this place on Overlander and yeah, it's got a bit of a theme. It was a great place to get some work done, but it gave off some distinct Tiger King energy. But finally, we were on the road to Isla Aguada, which is where we wanted to spend our Christmas on the beach. It's been four days of driving over a thousand kilometers, and we have arrived where we have booked a place for the holidays. So excited to look at that water. It looks really cute. Look, <laughs> we have one from Quebec. Cambian. Here's another one from British BC. Columbia. Here's Ontario. another one oh, from Ontario. Oh my God, another one from Quebec. Wait, is the last one also? Oh no, we have one from Oregon. Wow, this is quite a spot. Yeah, we're not uh, we're, we're not used to having a, a live audience. <laughs> Usually the audience is online. Well, there we go. Our campsite is all set up in the location where we will be for Christmas. Yay! I had hoped that this place was great. We seem to already be surrounded by very nice neighbors who are very impressed by our setup. <laughs> and uh, I am so warm and so tired of driving. <laughs> I want to get in that ocean. We're about two o'clock right now, and basically by tonight, it's gonna be pouring rain. So, we're gonna set up this tarp. So we got this huge tarp from our French neighbors here that used to cover their RV, and we're gonna try and make some kind of under cover area out here so we don't soak for the rest of the day. isn't uh, going incredibly well. We've made a big splash, but uh, the car is no better protected at this point. This is not the best tarp that has ever been <laughs> erected. <laughs> we have used anything but the uh, latest skills and technology. It's fucking perfect. Look at that. That's amazing. 
So it's not a white Christmas, and it's not quite the beach Christmas that we had in mind, but you know what? I'm pretty happy with our little shelter. It honestly is working pretty well. It's just started raining, so we'll see. So today we're not gonna do much. We're just gonna take it easy. We're gonna relax underneath our shelter, maybe get some tacos, and uh, watch Christmas movies. So we have been invited to a Christmas dinner tonight. I'm so excited! With like basically everyone who's staying here at the like RV campground that we're at and the people who run it. So we were told make salad and we also have potatoes. It's super nice to have um, this come up because I mean it would have been great doing it on our own but it's nice to have a moment with a group of people even when we're out here on the road. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. But what are you doing? What are we doing? <laughs> this this guy has been here for like two days now. He's he's a he's a like circus performer of some sort. He's a good clown, getting people for yeah, and he's yeah. Okay, we're getting ready to go. Even put on fancy clothes. Look at Leo's all dressed up. I even wash these jeans. <laughs> so for our little group neighborhood party, our Christmas party, uh, we're having to make a salad. So we're gonna join our French friends over here and uh, get we'll cooking. Happy hour salad making session. <laughs> knock, knock. Come in. Are we allowed to come in? Okay, well, this is uh, this is what Christmas is gonna look like. This is amazing. Look at this. We have like yep. a full banquet table. Everybody's lined up and ready to go. Dave, do you know uh, how many different nationalities we have at the table tonight? Swiss, German, French, Canadian, American. Yeah. Oh, and Brazil. And Brazil. Good morning everyone, it is Christmas. Uh, I've been told not to turn around because we don't normally exchange gifts uh, when we're at home for Christmas, but um, Leah likes stockings, so we're gonna do stockings. We don't have stockings, so they're just in a pair of socks, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, um, I think it's ready. You can turn around and look at our stockings. <laughs> Okay. Wow, that is uh, that is amazing. Isn't it cute? <laughs> so here are our Christmas stockings <laughs> from inside the car. The chunky ones for you. <laughs> no, you gotta grab yours at the same time. Wow, what the fuck? What did you do here? This is amazing. Look at this. We have our little towels. There's Snickers in mine. Where'd you do that? Oh, it's the on your period. <laughs> it makes me want to cry. So to add to all of this, Leah is also on her period for Christmas. Yay, this red is not for Christmas. It's for my period. <laughs> So my parents' house for Christmas, the first thing that we always have is coffee and Baileys. Uh, you can find Baileys in Mexico, but instead, we got mocha-flavored mezcal, <laughs> which for mezcal fans, that's probably sacrilegious. But I'm sure it'll be delicious in coffee. We will see. OK. 
Okay, let's give it a taste test. It's okay. I'm gonna be honest, it's okay. No, I feel like when it's by itself, it's great. Something about Bailey's, it hits right. Yeah. Come on. So when we are home on Vancouver Island, we often do a beach cleanup in the morning with Leah's family. Um, the beaches here are sadly a lot more covered in garbage, so we're not gonna clean the whole beach, but we have brought a bag out here and we're gonna do a little cleanup. I realize that most of my uh, family Christmas traditions revolve around different beverages you have throughout the day. We aren't gonna have Caesars, but we will have champagne and orange juice, and this is like fresh Kugel di Naja. So, I have no idea how good this is. <laughs> we will see. I've had better. <laughs> <laughs> it's Asti Spumante, and it's like... So it is raining, but I just want to show you what our setup is. We have this far attachment to the tree here, running across with possibly the longest and most fragile string going to this far post. That is not super structurally sound, but we're, we're not going to get into it. Our other biggest one is probably this far side, which goes all the way out to the Palapa. And then of course, our third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh attachment on the front. Eight points of contact for this. <laughs> <laughs> we have eight points of contact, 99 problems, and enthusiasm for making Christmas still happen is not one of them. Pretty happy with this so far. Uh, not our best rope job, but that makes it sound like we do tie up stuff in bed. <laughs> the... <laughs> that interesting. <laughs> All right, well, one heck of an end to one heck of a journey getting here and for Christmas. We're gonna be taking the first week of January off from uploading, so don't expect a video from us for a while. But, but when uh, you come back, we still have the other half of this journey left to yeah, go. Six more months. Wow. Thanks everybody, see you in the new year. Bye.